Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to go through a migration of a Sonoff uh, USB ZigBee adapter to SM Lite 06P7 ZigBee PoE adapter. And the reason for this is I want to migrate my home assistant from a Raspberry Pi to a Proxmox VM. And I don't want to go through all the ZigBee uh, devices and repairing it or reconfiguring it. And there are different variations. I bought this 06P7. You can buy 06 as well or 6P. The only difference I found from the others were the 6P7 has the thread ready as well. And uh, the other one is the RAM. So the 06 is, uh, I think, about uh, 88K, and I searched for it. So the 6P7 has got 152KB RAM, whereas the other ones have got 88KB RAM. So as you can see, like even with the maximum devices, 88KB should be sufficient. And they just say, recommend that, okay, if price is an option, like, Concerned about the price, you can go with the smaller range as well. But when I saw it, there wasn't a much of a difference from six and seven. And if you scroll through it, it gives you some differences on this. So let's go through setting it up. So I've already connected this uh, Ethernet and it's all ready to go. So now let's go to the dashboard. The one thing you'll notice is on the uh, packaging itself, there's no way you, it will tell you like what's the web UI web interface for it. Like as long as you know the IP for it, then you can go directly to the IP or the other way to find out is like either go to their SM site where it says what's the web interface. And it said it's slzb-06.local if you have a six series and if you have six P7, so you have just have zero six P7 at the end dot local. So mine is slzb-06 P7 dot local. So if I go here, so this is the web interface and it's got these new new firmware so let's scroll through this and by the way this is i'm doing real time I haven't set it up or haven't practiced it so i'm just setting it up as i'm recording it so this is the mode so it's the coordinator we can set it up as a router as well it's got the matter of a third which is on the beta zigbee like hub i'm not going to try anything else just want to migrate it and make sure that it's working as is and then let's go to the zigbee hub and network so on the network side well that's a typo but on the ethernet options these are the dhcp status and make sure that you have your ip set up uh, like as a reserve so that it doesn't change when you change it okay so here it says to read all these steps here uh, before you make any changes and this one says you don't really need to repair it and just if you follow these steps, which doesn't say to copy the address, so basically shutting down the Zigbee MQTT Neche and then powering off the router, the existing one, then coming back up on the new router, and then it says that it should all repair it. But if that doesn't work, it also says that change the IP address of the coordinator to match the previous coordinator, which is what I'm going to do because that's what I've read, like people have suggested, rather than you know, trying it out and seeing if all the devices are repaired. So, and this is the place like where you see flash custom IEEE address. So this is one where you copy the IP address, IEEE address or the MAC address from the Sunoff one or the existing one. So for now, like, let's go back to our home assistant. And under home assistant, you need to go to Zigbee MQTT, then settings, then about. When you go here, you, this one shows like currently I have like 35 devices connected. And this is my existing IEEE coordinator. You don't need to have these 0x. It's just this IP, like IEEE address. So I'll copy it over. You can see it doesn't have those colons after every two characters, which is what we'll have to add it when you configure it on our SM Lite. So some say that, okay, you can directly copy it over here. If you see it, that's the... It's like in this, uh, in this version of the uh, firmware, yeah, you don't need to put a column. So as you can see, it needs that same format, so it's much easier. So what I did was just copy the whole thing over and go into my dashboard and then paste it here. And as you can see now, it's green. That means that's correct. So this is the one which says like, yeah, now write the site triple E address. So I'm going to write it. It says yeah, flashing the firmware and it'll take some time let's see this should be pretty fast i believe the way it's going now this is flashing the firmware and this should actually write this as you can see it's done 
close it so that's it that's about it on this dashboard so let's go back to our so one more thing you have to copy from here as you can see here so this is the port so as you can see this is the port we need to copy this as well because you need this to put it back on your home assistant port you go back to your home assistant and then in here go back to your settings so here you see this port so this is currently pointing to my son of usb so saying if you're using the zigbee to mqtt add-on for home assistance saying like it's better to use the add-on yaml configuration directly so it pretty much says like select the three dots in the menu on the right hand corner and edit yaml and then put in these details so let's do that now so let me go to the add-ons configuration and this is where i need to put in the port Okay, so the see the stack. Let me check if everything else is correct. Don't think I need to change anything else. Let me go back and just verify. Yep, sounds good. Incorrect. Then click on save. Let's say I want to restart. So when you add uh, the new adapter, automatically discovers it um i didn't show this earlier but you can add it to your integrations so it says this the device name i'm fine with that so, so these are the devices and this one is good so that you know if there's any updates and it's got all these entities ram usage and whether what's connected or not you don't have to really go through this control panel if you don't want to so either you can go directly here or you can since you have added it as an integration you can have your entities in your cards as well so it took about i think a minute or so of just getting impatient and doing retries but yeah so eventually it came back up so as you can see all the devices are there so i just want to make sure that it is using the new adapter so let's go back to the tools or so, and then about so still got the 35 devices and then if i go to the seal i should see the new one you can see it's so it's using this and looks like it's all paired that's pretty fast though well let me check with one of these devices Okay, so, so I'm going to test the front door light here and I have my home assistant and then I'm just going to turn it on. So as you can see, it turns it on and trust me, the light is on. Let me turn it off. Then it turns off. So yeah, pretty much looks like it's now using the new adapter coordinators. And this was pretty, pretty quick and easy to do. So now I can actually move my home assistants without repairing anything because now this is using the ethernet uh, which is on a separate uh, power supply and hardware as altogether so it doesn't connect to any of my raspberry Pi or any other machine so it's pretty sweet hope you enjoyed this and uh, wait for my other video for how to move home assistants to a proxmox vm thank you so it took about i think a minute or so of just getting impatient and doing retries but yeah so eventually it came back up as you can see all the devices are there so i just want to make sure that it is using the new adapter so let's go back to the tools or so, then about so still got the 35 